Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. Let's take one more example. So in each of the following case, we have to tell whether it is a 1, 1 onto our bijective. So first is a function is defined by fx equal to 3 minus 4x from r to r and second is from r to r 1 plus x square. We will solve this question in a different way. Till now what we have done, we have found the domain, codomain and then we have solved this question. But again here in this case if you see, it is r to r and we can solve but it will be a difficult one. So we can solve in different fashion altogether. So what we have seen for function to be uh, 101, let's suppose this is x1, this is x2. So this guy will be f of x1, correct? And this guy will be f of x2. So for 101, if we can prove that, if f of x1 is going to f of x2, which implies x1 is going to x2, that means it's a 101 relationship. That means I'm saying that, see, if these two are equal, if these two are equal, that is the same point, these implies these two are also same. I'm saying that, let's suppose f, this value is equal to this value. So I'm saying that this is the value f of x3. That is equal to f of x1 and x2. Now, if this guy is pointing to, if x1 is pointing to this and x2 is pointing to this, in this case, now if I can prove that both are same, x1 is equal to x2 only, there is only one line, this line is not there, then that is 101. Correct. So, let me write, to prove a function to be 101, Assume f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then prove x1 is equal to x2. If we can do this, this implies the function is 101. We can do this by the range and co uh, domain and codomain method also, where you define the domain and codomain, then map and see. But this is a different approach altogether where what we are doing instead of you know, making big circles and finding the domain and codomain, what we are doing is if we are assuming that the function x1 is equal to function x2 for any two x minus x2, which are part of real number here because it is all real number here for any x1, x2 part of real number. And then if I am able to prove that both are same actually, that this is not the case. If, if this is the case, if an x minus x2 is same, if f of x1 and f of x2 is same, that is the same number, if two numbers x1 and x2 are pointing to this, this is not 101, right? If somehow I am able to prove that both are same actually, both are same, then this is 101. x1 is equal to x2. So, to prove a function to be 101, what we have to do? We have to assume that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 for any x1 x2 part of real number in this case, right? And then we have to prove that x1 is equal to x2. Now, to start with, let's take this function, f of x1 will be 3 minus 4 x1, 3 minus 4 x1 is equal to, f of x2 is 3 minus 4 x2, this is what we assume, 3 3 cancel, minus minus cancel, 4 into 4 we can take common cancel, so what we get from this is x1 is equal to x2, thus we can say that it is a 1 1 function, why? Because we told that we assume that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 for any x1, x2 that is part of real number. And then if we can prove that x1 is equal to x2, then this function is 1 1 function. Logically also if you see this is a function, x1 goes to f of x1, x2 goes to f of x2. And then we assume that f of x1 and f of x2 are same. This is the one, this is f of x. And then if we prove that instead of x1 and x2 pointing to this, there is only one number that is pointing to this, that is x1 is equal to x2, then this 101. So by this method we have proved that this is 101 function. Now to prove the function to be on to, if you see what we say, there should be no orphan image. So that means this is x, this is fx, if you see. So for, a, or this is y actually, for y let's suppose x to y. For every y, there should be an x. If you can prove that for every y, there should be an x. That is, there is no orphan y. Let's suppose there is a y, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. 
for every y there should be some x so if you can prove that that means the function is on to so for on to let me write to prove function to be on to we had to prove that for every y x exist for every y exist and now that also depends on range for every y that means for every y that is part of for every y that is part of r there should be x that is part of r because it is r to r mapping now in this case i am told y is equal to 3 minus 4x so if you make uh, re, uh, write this you get x is equal to uh, y 3 minus y by so you take any uh, any value of y in this case any real number you will get x is the real number you can take you take y is equal to 0 you get 3 by 4 that's a real number you take y is equal to 1 you get 2 by 4 is real number you get y is equal to 5 you get minus 2 by 4 is real number you take any value of y any any y any y that is a real number for all y that is real number x is always a real number thus we can say that this function is a onto that is there is no orphan pi let's try to understand the steps this is I'm trying to solve in a different way altogether it's a different step instead of finding the domain and codomain i'm just trying to use the logic the first one to prove a function to be one of one what i'm trying to do is we assume that f of x1 is going to f of x2 and then we prove that x1 is going to x2 so if we assume f of x1 is going to f x2 is f of x in that case x1 is pointing to f of x x2 is pointing to f of x but that is not 101. To prove it to be on a 101, there should be only one mapping. So we can prove that x1 is equal to x2, that means there's only one mapping. So if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, assume, and then if you can prove that x1 is equal to x2, then that function is 101. For a function to be on 2, if you can prove that for every y, that is part of r here range, because it is r to r mapping here in this case, there is an x, then that function is Let's take the second example. Here, when this is done. I am taking this example now. Fx is equal to, let me draw a line here. Fx1 is equal to 1 plus x1 square and f of x2 is equal to 1 plus x2 square. If I am doing this for proving a function to be 1 over 1, we assume that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 and then we have to prove x1 is equal to x2. So we assume that f of x1 is equal to f of x2, right? Assume. So what we get? 1 plus x1 square is equal to 1 plus x2 square. Cancel. So what we get? x1 square is equal to x2 square. Or x1 is equal to plus minus x2. What I'm saying is, if you have a negative also, if x1 square is equal to x2 square, that is x1 is equal to plus minus x2. Correct? You take a root of this. So x1 is not equal to x2 here. Since x1 is not equal to x2 here, that is, it is not a 1 1 function. Logically, also, if you see here, for example, you have uh, minus 2 and plus 2, both will give same output. Minus 2 square is 4 plus 1, that is 5, and plus 2 square plus 1, that is 5, 1 plus x square. So this will give the same output. Here, also, if you see, x is not equal to x2, x is equal to plus minus x2. Since here x1 is not equal to x2, x1 is equal to plus minus x2, we can say that it is not 1 1. Correct. Now, for uh, on 2, we have to prove that for every y, there is x. Now, the question say y is equal to 1 plus x square. So, what do you get? x is nothing but y minus 1 root. Correct. Now, for every y there is an x, but if you see, if y is less than 1, for example, if you have y is 0, this becomes 0 minus 1, that is minus 1 root, and minus 1 root is imaginary number, that is not real number, because we are talking about real numbers here, not imaginary number. So, we don't have a real number for y is equal to 0, we don't have a real number x for y is equal to minus 1 also, minus 1, minus 1 equal to minus 2. For any number, 
that is for any real number less than 1 we don't have for x we don't have x real that is not there since it is not there we can say that it is not only correct why we got this see for function to be a onto we are told that for every y in r because it is r to r there has to be x that is part of r this is a real number so then we got y is equal to 1 plus x square so we got x equal to nothing but root of y minus 1 now in this we can see that for y less than 1 that is r because y less than 1 is nothing but real numbers only 0 minus 1 minus 1 of real numbers they are some set of real numbers y for which x is not real so we can say that this is not onto so we'll solve few more examples using this method plus please understand this method you should not solve all the question using uh, after finding domain and codomain you can do that but that's not the correct way you should also know this way thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again